Jeff Glass, Rockford Ice Hogs goaltender hanging out. Playoffs, you're up 2 nothing. You play Thursday night at the Allstate Arena and, if necessary, Sunday back here at the uh, BMO Harris Bank Center. Hopefully we won't need that and we can save that game for another series. Yeah, we best case scenario, we can go into Allstate and play the way we've been playing and um, wrap this thing up. But um, we're not taking anything for granted. No, I mean, they, it's going to be uh, a tough game. Absolutely. Their they're backs are against the wall and... Uh, they always say that you know the series clinching game is the hardest game to win. So um, we're fully expecting them to come out flying on uh, tomorrow night and and go from there. So if hockey was like baseball and you had a walk up song when you came out on the ice, what would you be your your walk up song? Well, we, we've I've been asked that before, and you know it depends on the day. I think I don't know if I would. I'd have to change mine throughout the year. I mean, I've always been a Metallica guy, so I, right. I could. You know, like fuel by Metallica. Ooh, I can come up to that one. every time. Yeah. Um, you know, something like that. But if I I've started to kind of change my ways, and you know, we listen to every type of music in the dressing room, and some of it's you know changed the way I think about you know maybe modern day music. So I I, I would uh, I would be open to suggestions for sure for sure. But um, I kind of like that idea. I think after guys score, they should have their own song. Yeah, right there. I think that kind of stuff would really uh, add a little individualism to the player and a little bit of you know. Fans might be able to relate with the guy a little better if, if after every time a guy scores a certain song, quirky or not, comes on. I think, <laughs> I, I think it could be a lot of fun. Do you listen to music before you play? I do, uh, but I, I listen to like the, whatever's on the whatever's playing in the dressing room. Okay, some, so you don't do your own music? No, some guys do headphones, and um, I I like to always hear what's going on. I feel like um, over the years I've learned that you know you can pick up quite a few things in the dressing room before a game that might help you in a game, and. Um, Putting the headphones on, the noise canceling headphones, really, I feel like uh, takes me out of a lot of those conversations that might be important in the game. So that's that's my thought process. But um, you know, leading up to the game on the way to the rink, if it's either on a bus or uh, driving myself, definitely get the music going. Who's in charge of the music in the Ice Hogs dressing room? Oof, there's a hot topic. So we've, <laughs> we, we've had a few guys since it started, and uh, who's the number one? Who who would you say like is the go-to DJ? Yeah, it's got better. Let's put it that way. It's got better. We had a we had a lull in the middle of the season there where um, it didn't go so well. So if we started chronologically right from the beginning, I think Laurent Offan was was the original DJ, and he did a pretty good job. I mean, he came right into a new dressing room, took over, and did did a great job. And then obviously we traded him, so he was gone, and um, that's when it got bad for a while and i can say that honestly there was you know the likes of graham not and nathan <laughs> Noel, and we had some music i don't even know if it was music and then from there it's it's picked up again i think we have uh chris di domenico is is playing some of his music right now and uh even video coach adam gill will jump in from time to time and play some music so we um, I think it's a collection now, but it's definitely a, a little more upbeat. A little, a little easier to listen to. <laughs> Talking to Jeff Glass, Rockford Ice Hogs goaltender. When you guys are traveling into Allstate Arena for a game, what time do you guys usually leave Rockford? Yeah, so we'll leave tomorrow around 3.30, and um, that gets us there about 4.30, obviously, for a 7 o'clock game. And, um, you know, hockey players, we've talked about this several times, they're just, we're, we're, we're creatures of habit, so... Uh, everybody likes to be there at least two hours before before puck drop and um, routines are usually based off the time of the day and um, you know everything is done the exact same in the day so uh, we'll leave the same time we left for the last game and the same time we'll have to leave if there's a game five and <laughs> that, that's just kind of how we work and on the bus ride do you, you know you talked about listening to music you know do you, do you you know shut your eyes for a few minutes or you know what what's the what's cuz that's not a very long bus ride no. when you're when you're going far you're going to grand rapids or something i can see you know really taking a nap but when you got a short bus ride what do you what's that yeah like? no it's you know what this series has been great cuz the travel's so nice it's it's basically <laughs> like playing a home game and um you know even i i, I know it takes us what let's say 45 minutes to get to the allstate arena it took us uh 45 minutes when i was with the hawks to get to the rink in phoenix and then that's a home game right so uh, by no means is there travel or um, are we concerned about getting there. So to your point, I think not very many guys sleep on this bus ride. I think most of the guys, if, they, if they're going to get a nap, they try to get in before the bus ride. And uh, Once you get on that bus, I think guys are already getting into the caffeine and the loud music and, and <laughs> getting amped up for the game. Getting focused for, for game time. So Thursday night at the Allstate Arena, it's always good to have uh, Ice Hog fans go there and invade their tor- territory because they have no trouble coming here. And uh, but I liked seeing a lot more Ice Hog fans last Sunday. 
And if necessary, Sunday afternoon at 4, hopefully we won't need it. But uh, good luck, and, and let's continue on. Yeah, let's keep doing this. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll pick back up next Tuesday at our regular schedule time, <laughs> and, and we'll go from there. But uh, we're really looking forward to it. I mean, the fans have been great, and I think we really do have something special going here. So um, I don't want to be jinxy pants and say something, but I, th- I think we got a good chance tomorrow. And uh, if it doesn't go our way tomorrow, I'm right back at it Sunday at home ice, and I like our chances then. But Jeff Glass from the Rockford Ice Hawks, who's usually here on a Tuesday, is here on a Wednesday. How's it going today? I, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's all the same, right? <laughs> Is it hard to keep track of days? I mean, you're in the middle of a playoff series. You you kind of just go along with life and lose track of days. Um, I, I'm going to make up an excuse and say, sure, like, yeah, we, we lose track of days. But um, this time of year, it's really just game days and non-game days. And that's what it comes down to. So uh, God, I had a couple of good games on the weekend. Now a couple off days to get ready for Thursday's game. And uh, back at her, but I, I guess you could use that. You know, you can kind of get <laughs> lost, in, lost in the week. Well, it was a great weekend. Two wins. You go into Chicago. You take one from Chicago at Allstate Arena, which is that's huge to to take that one from them because I know they've had a great home record. And then you know they turned around the next day, four o'clock game time on a Sunday, and get game two. Two nothing. That's kind of nice. It's been. It was great. It was uh, exactly the way we drew up the weekend, to be honest. But um, like you said, I, th- I think that the big one for us was the uh, was the first game in Allstate Arena. They got a great home record. They're a good home team. Um, it's a short series. It's a five game series, so everything's changed. If, if it's a seven game series, you have time to lose the first couple games and still get back into it. But uh, with it being a five game series, we knew that um, we couldn't wait, and and we came out flying on the weekend. We played really well and. Uh, and then we got to come home, and, and uh, you know, we had a great crowd. We were just talking about it. it was a beautiful day, and everybody still showed up and supported us, and uh, we really used that momentum and uh, played another really strong game, and, and we set ourselves up here to be in really good shape going into Game 3. You know, from what I've heard, it was one of the biggest playoff attendance games there's ever been. Yeah. So that's it, that's huge. It's exciting. It's it's really good, and I was here a week and a day ago, and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we talked about trying to, you know, get some momentum and try to get some people out there and uh, how much of an X factor it could be if people showed up. But I really think it did make a difference. And uh, I know the guys could feel it, and um, it was a lot of fun. So uh, we're hoping we don't have to play another home game this series, but, uh, you know, there's plenty more series to come. Talking to Jeff Glass from the Rockford Ice Hogs. So it is playoff time, and that means it's warm. And the weather's starting to get nicer. So, what have you been doing on your downtime? Because you only have so much practice in a day. Yeah, it's been great. I mean, um, it's funny when you come to play hockey in, in in spots you're not from. You you really experience their winter. So when we show up in the fall, it's it's the, the weather's already starting to turn, and you get a little bit of taste of summer. But it's it's turning, and you're getting ready for hockey season. So you try not to get out too much. And now when it's springtime, it's that same mentality of you know the playoffs are around. You're trying to stay focused, but. Um, I'd be lying. We got a we got a brand new daughter, so we've been taking her out lots and enjoying this nice weather and uh, trying to be outside as much as we can. Now, are you a golfer? Because I know a lot of the boys are golfers. We got some real good golfers on our team this year. And I like to golf, but I'm not as good as the guys on our some of the guys on our team. So uh, there, there's a few of them that have been out quite a bit, and um, and good on them. It's it's a good way to uh, kind of get your mind off of hockey and do something else. What is the pra- is practice schedule basically the same? Do you live the same life that you do in the regular season? Yeah, more or less. Um, I, you know, we do have a few extra bodies around right now just because it's that time of year. So um, there, there is almost an extra group. We call them Black Aces where they, they go on early and um, they're, they're, a bunch of, they're a bunch of reserves that are around in case something would happen and we need to fill, fill a few spots. And then um, there is an extra line in practice as well. So we have a few more bodies kicking around, but for the most part, um, it's status quo. We go to the rink and, and practice where we've been practicing all year and uh, prepare for the game tomorrow. Talking to Jeff Glass, Rockford Ice Hogs goaltender. Now, a guy that, like you that's been around, I, I have a feeling that it, it has no effect on you whatsoever. But for some young guys that this, they may be rookies or whatever, Sunday, not only was there a big crowd there, but up in one of the suites, all the top brass from the Blackhawks. You had Stan Bowman, the general manager. You had Joe Quinville, the head coach. Does that affect the young guys at all? Does it change the way they play? Are they trying to maybe show something? different than they normally would well i i think first off we're very lucky here in rockford to have um our our affiliate club so close by i think there's lots lots of scenarios in the league where um it, it's just not accessible to have the parent club come down and 
and be able to watch games firsthand in person. It's just too far travel wise. The schedules don't line up. And uh, with Rockford being so close to Chicago, I, I mean, there's those guys have been down several times this year. And um, you know, whether guys notice it or not, I, I think I think you always have to be aware that someone's watching. And at this level, uh, guys have kind of got to be used to that. From my point, uh, from my perspective, the way I've seen it this year is that you know, guys know there's always going to be eyes, and there's always if it's uh, if it's Stan or if it's Joel or if it's a pro scout, there's always going to be somebody watching you play. So the fact that they were all there on, on Sunday is I mean, great. I don't know if there was anybody not there. Yeah, <laughs> I think that was the comment made that anybody we've ever met that's been in the organization was there. So it was pretty cool, but um, I, I think at this point, um, I think the young guys especially have got over that hump of, of worrying about who's watching and knowing that, um, you know, if we win, everything will take care of itself. Yeah, my ticket didn't work for that suite. I don't know. I know they wouldn't let me up there. I don't know why. You know? Uh, I was I was trying to send my wife over to that suite too to go say hi. And it didn't seem to work either. Jeff Glass, goaltender from the Rockford Ice Hogs, is hanging out.